Um, before I actually begin my talk, I just want to acknowledge someone in the audience. Um, my mom actually has no idea what I'm about to say, so yeah. Ama, más quiero que sepas que te quiero y que yo quiero que después de esto tú pienses lo mismo. I remember the first time someone questioned my gender. I was 14 years old and I was at the movies with my sister. At the time, my hair wasn't that short like how it is right now, but I kind of looked like an Asian Justin Bieber. <laughs> we were on our way out and we overheard a group of girls saying, is that a girl or a boy? I didn't think much of it, but my sister, she was furious. She went up to them and she said, she's clearly a girl. That's when I realized that people were just going to put me into a box just because of how I was born. That everyone is simply just a machine that society just puts on basic settings from the moment they are born. At the time, I didn't identify as transgender or even knew what it meant. I just knew I liked wearing boy clothes and just wished I was born a boy. I just thought that was normal. When I realized that I was a transgender male and started coming out, I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. I just wanted in, oh, okay, I understand. But that's not how life works. Things aren't made to be simple. I know that it can't be like this because there isn't that much information about the transgender community. You have no idea how many people have told me, that makes no sense, or what's in your pants then? <laughs> the contents of my pants and the way I feel about my gender does not truly reflect who I am as a person. Transgender is simply an adjective that is used to describe me uh, just like Mexican does. However, it isn't people's fault for not knowing. I don't blame them for telling me ignorant things because I know that no one has told them what it means to be like someone like me. To be considered different because I want to change myself to be happy. It is the lack of understanding that leads to acts of discrimination to many transgender people. There has been court cases that show the discrimination that the transgender community faces. For instance, in Johnson's versus Freshmark, a male to female transgender named Selena Johnson was using the men's and the women's restroom and was confronted by her employer. They insisted that she use the men's restroom when Johnson insisted on either being allowed in the women's or a unisex restroom. She was then fired because she refused to work under these conditions. Under the Employment Non-Discrimination Act, the employers could do this because there wasn't anything specific that said the employers were forced to make restroom accommodations available. Therefore, Johnson's employers could not do anything about it because it isn't considered discriminatory. Even though it may be as simple as not being able to use the same restroom that matches the way you identify, it is still important. The biggest issue that transgender people face throughout their journey is using the restroom. All that transgender teens and adults want is to not have that anxiety of walking into this restroom and there being someone that's going to hurt you just because you're different. Just like everyone, transgender people need support. It's, hel it's helpful for them to have it when they're going through, through their transition. 51% of uh, transgender adults whose families have rejected them attempted suicide. Now I know that's just a number, but I can attest to why transgender adults and teens would attempt suicide. Throughout this project, I've gone through many things. I've cried because things felt tough and I wasn't happy. I wasn't letting myself be happy. I didn't want to talk about who I was with anyone because how are you supposed to bring awareness to an issue when you can't even let it come out of your mouth? I needed to build courage. There were times where I wished I was normal so I wouldn't have to go through this because that's how I, was, I grew up. People telling me, why can't you just be normal? I needed support. I didn't want to feel alone because no one else around me understood what I was going through. I needed a community. This year-long project has helped me build a community within my school and find a sense of comfort. People who are going through a journey like mine, I hope you realize that you don't have to be afraid of who you are. It doesn't matter what people call you or what they do to you because you are the one that controls how you grow. It may be hard, but I want you to know that I see you. 
I see that you are simply a person who needs love and support just like others. And you shouldn't be missing that just because you are considered different. I encourage you all to help me keep showing awareness by creating a welcoming atmosphere. We need support, and I can show awareness as much as I can, but I need your help as well. Thank you.